she has been de-skinned. On this is the curbside, all the way down. Rot, 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 rotten, 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 rotten. Look at the rotten, rotten, rotten windows. And then we got the front end. And then I'm going around to the street side. And here we go. That's not too bad, but we got lots of rot. White rot. And then all the way down here on the street side. Lots of rot down at the bottom. I'm gonna have to reinforce all of that. More rot. You know what? It's doable rot. And then bathroom window, electricals up there. And then we go around. And the back panel is popped, but we got screws and stuff off back there. License plates off, lights are off. It's just a matter of bending this edge over so it lays flat so we can roll it up and take the whole roof off. But before we can do that, up on top up there are two air vents a hot water heater vent and a furnace vent that we got to deal with. So anyway, here's the street side. This was the um, outlet that was on the curb side right above the wheel, which was really kind of nice to have because we'd put our coffee pot right here. And that was real handy to have a outlet right there. There's the two storage uh, doors, hatches that go under the bed inside of the trailer. So they just open up and I can store like my awning and other things inside there. So I really kind of want to beef these up here and this is kind of tilted a little bit down. So I need to figure out and get that fixed so it's actually level see here you can see it it actually is at a 45 degree angle um, that comes in there but look at all this all has to be rebuilt not a big deal it's just taking it out and that is actually all plywood that they have uh, when they built it with the factory they put layer of layer of layer on top of plywood on top of plywood on top of plywood and just glued it together so that's basically all what it is all the way around so i gotta do that and with the cost of plywood these days oh shit this trailer is gonna be freaking expensive anyway okay curbside check this out see there's the electrical wire going in for whatever there but check out the ground it's just screwed to one of the framework pieces with a met nail. That's it, or a screw. So all of them are like that. Where they go into the trailer at, it's all screwed in by a nail for the ground wire. This is the kitchen window right here. That little guy right there, that is the vent for the hood for the stove. So I gotta take a look and see how that's all kind of put together but to give me an idea. Also, I want to beef up the overhead above the windows, above all the windows, so that I got heavier wood around there for hanging my curtains up. And anyway, street side, once again, yes, beefier, needs to be beefier for my curtains that'll hang up here with the cornice boards.